After my lecture, Aaron and I went to a different part of the house and plotted to get Coach Coy away from the party. Danny and Rod removed the distributor cap or did something with the distributor cap so as to disable Coach Coy's truck because he would have killed somebody or me or himself if he was allowed to drive. When Coach Coy couldn't start his truck, Rod Smith offered to drive him to his house. Unfortunately, Coach Coy wouldn't leave the party without me. So Rod, Danny, who had also been drinking, Coach Coy and I, who was sober, all got in Rod's truck and left the party. Upon arriving at his sister's house of the duplex where Coach Coy lived, he jumped out of Rod's truck and dragged me out of the truck by the wrist. He ordered Rod to leave, but Rod refused and demanded to wait for me. Coach Coy dragged me through his sister's home and to his bedroom. There he threw me on his very dirty bed. Thankfully, somebody else entered the house as he began to mount me. He hustled me out of the bed and told me to sit next to him. Coach Coy still refused to turn loose of my wrist. I was begging him him to let me go saying all kinds of ridiculous things like I think I hear my mom calling me after about 20 minutes of this coach Coy started to pass out so he demanded my car keys from me and put them under his body soon after he was out cold and I took that opportunity to run out of the house passing his very confused sister Kathy sitting in the living room I was just glad to be out of there and really proud of myself for handling such a difficult situation I had fixed what I had been accused of doing and now nobody was going to get in trouble or mad or dead or go to jail or lose their house or get sued or anything. I felt victorious and proud. I handled it with very little help. Me and my high school friends returned to Aaron's party. While in the bathroom brushing the grass out of my hair, Aaron George appeared in the doorway and said, don't tell me because I don't want to know, but if he raped you, you need to tell somebody. No, I snapped back. He didn't rape me. I swear to God, nothing like that happened at all. Aaron looked super concerned and just repeated himself. If he raped you, you need to tell somebody. And then he disappeared back into the party.